set. Yeah. Where are we headed? <laughs> A word of warning. Sharm El Sheikh Airport has about six flights arriving within half an hour of each other, so be prepared to fight. Otherwise you'll be stuck there for hours. We arrived at a dusky Darhab and found Alaska Camp basic but clean and in a great location. We were hungry and eager to explore. We walked south of the footbridge where there are tons of great restaurants most of them with campfires to warm the desert night. You'll also make a lot of new friends once your food arrives. We couldn't wait to see Darhab in the daylight, so went to get some breakfast. Morning, we're at Yala, mm -hmm. and we're going to have an Egyptian breakfast, which is fowl, eggs, baba ganoush, falafel, cheese, mm -hmm. The water is crystal clear and is great for scuba diving and snorkeling right off the beach. All the restaurants have sun beds and you can use them all day long as long as you buy a drink or some food. Camel trips and horse riding can easily be booked locally, as can hiring bikes. They're a great way of seeing all of Darhab. Be warned though, the saddles aren't that comfy. The sunsets are amazing. But in December, they happen at about 430 <laughs> How you doing? Pretty well, thanks. my camera
Cairo. I think we're on the right bus. Although as usual, we're not 100% sure. <laughs> it's only nine hours though. Nine, nine hours. hours. Relax. See you at about six o'clock. <laughs> Cairo is smoggy, crowded, and possibly the most charmless city we'd ever been to. The traders never leave you alone and can be quite aggressive. Still, there is one big reason to visit. The first sight is breathtaking. We hired some horses, which gives you a much better vantage point. So where are we now then? Giza. What's a Giza? Pyramids. <laughs> and somehow we're on horses. <laughs> the price for this should never be more than 90 Egyptian pounds each. Be careful, they will try and rip you off. After Cairo, we were really glad to be back to the more relaxed vibe of Dahab. And so, it was time to go home. After being there for three weeks, we were looking forward to our first Christmas in England for two years. The last week dragged a bit as the food became very samey and the flies at lunchtime were driving us mad. But as we look back, a month removed, we can now say that Darhab is a very special place. <laughs>